Welcome back to PyBytes YouTube, and uh, this is part two of PyGitHub. Uh, yesterday we saw a quick uh, example how I could get uh, the rep repositories of PyBytes with most stars. Uh, today I wanted to actually go one step further and use PyGitHub with an access token so we can do some real work. Uh, we can actually copy over issues from RUM repo to the other. And that's a real uh, world use case for us because uh, we create new repos from a template repo. Um, and that works fine, although uh, the issues are not copied over. So we built a tool to uh, to get that done. So let's look at it in this video. So here's the tool, called it GitHub Tools, because maybe you're going to write some more tools. Uh, so we have just a generic uh, repo. It's a package, as explained in previous videos. And uh, yeah, let's just try it out. Um, well, let's first have to look at the readme. Um, it's basically a command line tool that lets you for now, copy uh, issues over from one repo to the other. And you uh, use this typer, so you have some uh, nice command line stuff going on. And you can give it a source and a destination repo. If you don't get the, if you don't give it the source repo, it defaults to what you set in your environment. Uh, so you can set a bunch of environment variables. We're going to do that all in a second. And um, for now, it only supports um, the same owner for the source as well as the destination repo. Uh, here's the help. And you can also choose to copy or not copy milestones. Uh, so you could use it with copy issues, which is true by default. And then you can say no copy milestones to not uh, copy any milestones. Um, well, in this example, we're going to work with issues anyway. Um, OK, so let's um, clone this somewhere. CD into it. A virtual environment. And actually, I don't have any requirements file, um, but dependencies we need are these basically. So I could, could pip install this package. I can just also just manually quickly list them out. And as per the readme, at this point, we should be able to uh, run it like uh, this. And actually, that doesn't work because the GitHub repo token is required to run this. So let's uh, set those environments variables. It already comes with a template, which I'm just going to copy over into env. And uh, let's set those. Now, the repo token, you can um, make one under your GitHub settings. You have to go to developer settings. And under personal access tokens, fine grained tokens, generate new token, give it some name, give an expiration uh, time in days. And you have various levels of permissions, right? So in this case, I could specifically point to a repo, but I'm just going to do it across all my repos. And then below, under permissions, you can explicitly uh, set the permissions you want. So in this case, I want to deal with issues. So I give that read and write access and generate token. And I copy the token over into my N file. Of course, don't share this anywhere. Uh, this is this lets you basically use GitHub uh, programmatically. So anybody that gets this token can do things on your behalf. So very important to keep that private. Uh, repo owner, PB Selenium, some test account I have. And the source repo is, I think it's template repo. template repo, and we're going to just make a new repo as the destination. Now let's actually uh, use the tool. So uh, let's make a new repo, use the template, new repo,
And as you can see, it used the template repo. Well, there was not really much in place. Um, but importantly, the issues were not copied over. And that was the issue uh, we had. So let's uh, use the tool now. And one correction, I'm not going to set a destination repo. Um, I want that to be filled in from the command line. Okay. So again, running the help. Make that a little bit smaller. And we are going to, again, default to the source template repo. So we don't have to give that. It's already uh, stating here that the source is set to that template repo, which is loaded in from the environment. So I just need to give it destination, which is the repo we just created. And we don't have milestones, so I might as well run it without milestones. And I think that's it. And boom, it copied uh, test issue and some other issues. If I do a refresh here, those two issues are now uh, copied over. Now, this is a very uh, tiny example, but imagine you have a repo, with, uh, which was our case, 10 or 11 issues and seven milestones. I mean, imagine having to do that all manually. That's like 18 actions. Uh, and with this script, you can now do it uh, automatically um, every week, every interval you need it. So uh, yeah, pretty exciting. And uh, again, the best tools often happen by um, asking yourself the question, uh, what scratch of my own do I need to itch, right? Um, all right, that done. Uh, let's look a little bit at the code. So I go into the package, it's an init file, an entry point to the package, which just uh, runs app from CLI. In CLI, we have the command line interface. So we have just one command called main. The beauty of typer is that you can just use uh, type hints and typer argument or typer option. And this is all you really need. And you get a pretty rich uh, command line interface. Uh, what's really interesting, what I want to show is how the PyBytes GitHub class works. So let's go to that module. Uh, wrote a class, um, passes in source repo, destination repo, token, and user. Like we saw in the previous video, make a GitHub object. And uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, to get the object, right? So you get the source repo object, the destination repo object uh, with the GitHub get repo method. And then we can um, retrieve the milestones from the source repo, loop through them and try to create one, create them one by one on the destination repo. And there's a bit of exception handling. Um, for example, if a milestone already exists and you get an exception and I build up an output list uh, to show that in the final result to the console. And very similarly, we have a copy issues method that um, retrieves the issues from the source repo. It also builds up a set of the issues that are already there to uh, not um, create issues again. And then we loop over the issues and uh, sometimes it has more or less data. So we um, build up a params dictionary and based on um, attributes being there or not, we um, update that dictionary. If the issue is already um, created, then um, you just report that and continue. So we skip. And uh, beyond that point, we uh, create the, um, the same issue, but now on the destination repo. Again, it can uh, trigger an exception. In that case, we, uh, we show what exception there was and uh, yeah, at the end, uh, if it, it succeeded, we also um, put that in the output list. And again, the output list, if you go to CLI, that's what we capture in the return of those methods. And then uh, we use a little helper because I had it duplicated between the two uh, branches here. And so I made a little helper to do that once and we used then a, a rich table to make a little table of status and um, a column name. And then we add rows of icon, which is a check mark if it was successful Boolean or an X if it was not successful. And then the literal uh, message. And then we uh, print the table to the console. Um, so that's nicely decoupled, right? I mean, um, the, the work happens in those two methods. 
and the reporting happens here in the CLI module. So there you go, GitHub Tools, interesting uh, package we started for scratching our own itch uh, to copy over issues from Realm Repo and the other. What I forgot to tell you was uh, that I was building this with Robin, shout out to uh, Coach Robin, and uh, we even used a bit of chat GPT to um, to yeah work on first drafts. We did that as, uh, in a pair program session. It was super fun and insightful. Uh, yeah, and then we polished it up. Uh, I mean, we we just started with code in the main fun in the main uh, module. Then we did a bit of functions, and uh, but actually we ended up with a class. So there you go, various uh, iterations. So hope this is useful. Hope um, if you ever come across the need to uh, copy over issues from one repo to the other, that you will use the tool, and you can always uh, open issues or contribute to it. It's all open source. And uh, yeah, hope you learn a thing or two from this video. See you in the next one.